lose-lose situation for me. <laughs> if I miss my breaking point into turn one, <laughs> it's all over YouTube. <laughs> Hello there. Welcome to the grid. This is NLS 9. Uh, this is, like, it's like, is this our best qualifying? Best qualifying? Yeah. What were we last time? Nine or so? Yeah, so we're P5 on the grid. Directly behind us is Jack Aiken. Um, so what that says, I think, is that we are faster than a, a guy of an F1 star. Yes. Yeah. Hyundai i30, never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna spin around. Like, he's still going. But I've, I've looked away for a bit and yeah. he's still going. <laughs> Minimum requirement that Jimmy has to be in the lead after turn one, otherwise he's out of the team. This is a lose-lose situation for me. <laughs> it's a highlight of my career, this. <laughs> if I miss my breaking point into turn one, it's all over YouTube. This is my first one ever. Really? Yeah, I did my permit course yesterday. And I did it in like a, like a Suzuki Swift Renfrew ring. I'm pretty sure that was quicker than this. <laughs> so yeah, a little bit of pressure to know that there is a very talented sports car driver with an F1 start starting directly behind me in this race. Probably not worth dwelling on that, to be honest. So the calm before the storm here at NLS 9. Uh, we've just got into starting formation here, so this is where we're going to start our race. We're now waiting for the engineer over the radio to say green flag. That's when I'm going to gun it. Just getting into formation. Now you see a Cayman there stopped on the left-hand side, which sort of actually uh, messed up the starting formation slightly. You can see I've already dropped behind the 504, the car in front, quite a little bit here. I should be right on his rear bumper. But look at the gap. It's about two or three, four car lengths now as the green flag is finally cooled. And we now all accelerate full throttle down towards T1 for the first time. 40 or so cars in this starting group. Makes it a little bit hectic at the starts. But look at this. The first i30N comes by on the left, and then to make things worse, the second one comes by on the right. Those cars are very quick in the straight line. That car on the right there, driven by our good friend, Jack Aiken. So obviously I'm quite eager to try and stay with him as much as I can. Trying a different line through T1. There's a few cars on my inside here you can't quite see. And you can see already that we're maybe taking the wrong line there as the 514 looks a long way around the outside. The uh, number one car in front, that's the Adrenaline car. The current championship leaders and NLS champions of 2023 as we go through the left-hander through the Mercedes Arena section. The 514 on the outside. Now I'm going to try and go wide here and try and drive around it. TCR cars slow on exit. They all go to the inside line. I'm going to try the outside line here for the cut through onto the rest of the GP circuit. It works out very nicely. We get ahead of a TCR car, which is uh, not quite that quick at the start of this race. We're back tucked in behind Adrenaline once again. There is the TCR car, the 303, just kind of getting in the way. This car's not really meant to be racing back with us, but a bad grip position means that he's here. I have a little bit of a lunge here. The number one car, not quite close enough. They decided to back out of that right at the last second, but very, very aggressive racing off the start here as we come to the end of the GP circuit for the first time. Touch up behind number one car. Take a bit of a strange line from here because you can't see the TCR car is right on the right-hand side of me right now. I decide to try and outbreak him into the far chicane, managed to do so. And now look to the right-hand side. Jack Aiken slow through the right-hander and I decided to follow the number one car, the running car, through on the inside. We pass an F1 driver. <laughs> Amazing. Somehow, now we go on to the Nord Schleifer proper. And I look in the mirrors for one second go, OK, cool, that's done. Let's focus on the task in front of us now. Through Hansen back for the first time. You're going to see on the right-hand side here, lots of oil dust down. Big oil spillage in qualifying. So it's a bit slippy through here on the first couple of laps. Trying to make sure we don't have any incidents using the kerb to try and hook the car in now. You can see through these slower sections, my Hyundai's, the i30ns, not quite as quick as these are BMWs, but on corner exit, you'll see them rocket away down the straight. The adrenaline car in front getting a little bit impatient now, and so am I. I'm just trying to do my best to stay on the back of these guys. If I can stay with the championship leading car, then that is that's good. That's a good start for us. So up towards Flugplatz for the first time. Look, we have a tug of the belt to me to make sure everything is nice and uh, tight. Leaving it in fifth gear, roll the throttle back on again. Let the car just slide out to the outside. And now, using that draft just to stay with the cars behind. There is a car getting a little bit closer behind. It's a TCR car, and I'm just determined not to let this guy back through because he's going to cost me time. And at the start of this race, any time you lose is simply multiplied over the next few laps. So through straight and Kreutz, closing up on the cars in front. And I'm getting a little bit of a feeling now that I'm actually as well as the adrenaline car in front, being held up a little bit by this i30. I tried to have a look around the outside, not really 
committed to anything there, more just to show my nose and show that, hey, I'm here. Look in the mirrors, don't look at where you're going. And now we go down to the foxhole for the first time. And at this point, all I can really see is the adrenaline car. So I am just putting all my faith in him that he's going to get through here correctly. And I'm not going to have to get on the brace quickly. I do let off a little bit there to give myself a little bit of room. Coming over the rise, over the left hand here. Now I try and see if there's a, a move through here. The adrenaline car looks around the hour. So I think, okay, that works for you. I'm going to try it too. Tuck it in right to the door of the Hyundai and just about get the move done around the outside of the I-30N and just try my best to stay with this adrenaline car. But unfortunately for me, the TCR car has found a little bit of pace now and has got back past me again. But now look at him through this left-hander. Being slowed up so much by this car in front. He's so early on the brakes. You see me raise a hand here in a little bit of uh, frustration because I'm racing the guy in front. This guy in the TCR car is not my fight, but whatever, relax, get back into it again. So just trying to now push this TCR car along and stay as close as I can to this train in front without being held up too much by the car in front. Now to miss, hit, miss. You can see it again, having to just get on the brakes a bit early. No one liked to sit behind the car. And at this point, you know, I'm all fired up. A lot of aggression in me. I'm not waiting for this TCR car. I'm gonna go dive down the inside into the hairpin. I am not waiting for this guy. I need to be on the back of these cars in front. So now we're back up behind the adrenaline car once again, and we're only half a lap into this race. Super intense so far as we go down towards Arenberg for the first time, and now, sorry, for the first time. And again, just tucking in behind the adrenaline car. Now we're in a bit of a situation here where there are other B permits cars. These two Porsche Caymans in front had been detuned to sort of run at a similar speed to these BMWs, but they are not in our class and we are fighting them. You can see there me taking a, another weird line. This is to, again, try and keep that TCR car behind me. I don't want him past me at all. So snaker cars now come through Bergwerk and up the hill. It's a long run up here. We found that our car is performing super well up here now. So this was a point where I was thinking, right, okay, if I can get the tow here, if I can stay in the slipstream, there's a chance maybe I can get by this adrenaline car. And I'm just choosing to stay back a little bit more here because I can see everyone's getting a bit a bunch of stuff. People like to break through this little kink on the first lap. No exception there. The adrenaline car, you see the lights flashing on the brakes. And he's now just absolutely boxed in behind this camera. I take my chance up. I go up into P3 in class, past adrenaline, past the current championship leaders and I'm feeling pretty damn full of myself right now I'm not gonna lie but now I'm already presented with the next challenge we're on the back of these Cayman GT4 cars and similar story to the TCR car we're just being held up we need to try and get by these guys as quick as possible and at the same time defend from the cars behind I have a bit of a half look here this is more just to try and get into the mirror of the car in front to see me now luckily for me the car in front is also a black falcon car I give him a bit of a flash here and he very very kindly sees me and pulls up to the up top of the carousel pulls up the top of the carousel and we are able just to get through and now chase the white Cayman in front of the car in front is not a black falcon car I've got to pass this guy on merit so Got to try and get to the back of them as soon as possible. We're now we're getting to a part of the course where it's very difficult to overtake. It's very, very much single file through here. So I've really got to try and pick my time if we're going to get by at all. So into this second section now, you can see just how much more speed we're able to carry in this Cayman in front. That Evo R suspension set up so nicely for this part of the circuit. We're almost sniffing the guy in front, pushing him through this section. And I see an opportunity here. I've, I've decided to try and get a good run out of the second part with them. And, and I'm going to just launch it up the inside. Now, lay on the brakes, hug the apex there. The car grips well, those new fresh tyres sticking to the surface. And we get by that Porsche. And now we are unleashed to try and catch this next car in front of us. And this is where this car just comes alive through here. This has been a great first lap so far. We've gained a few bases up to P3 on the grid there, using all the road on the exit. Now coming up to the ice curve, different line through here, using the camber and the straight lining. And we're already on the back, almost, of this car in front. And now I'm already thinking, right, where is going to be the best place to pass this guy? Where am I going to catch him? Can I get by when I catch him? I want to waste as little time as possible because there are two cars up the road in our class that I am aiming for. We're P3 right now, but there's more still to come. You can see the Scirocco in front just slightly slower through here. And we're now, again, in a position where we're being held up slightly by the car in front. All we can really do is stay there, let him know we're there. And I was feeling a bit impatient at this point, given how fired up I was on that first lap. But I just knew that I had to 
be patient here. We've got a long straight coming up. We've got a septum opportunity coming up and that will be the best place to get by. So we've got a little bit of a gap behind us. Luckily, the white Porsche that I passed uh, previously actually held up the cars behind a little bit. So there's a small gap behind us now, and I'm focusing on what's in front. So all I've got to do is get a nice exit out of here. And although these Scirocco's are a bit quicker down the straights than we are, I should be able just to duck into the slip stream and get by and pull onto the main straight and take the overall position there. A bit slidey, first time through, but perfect. Look, now we're hooked up right in the slip stream. Thank you very much. We're going to pull out and up another position. That was a pretty hectic first lap. I think you guys can agree. But you don't get a moment to rest here at the Nürburgring. Straight away, the guys get on the radio to me and say, right, Jimmy, the car in front now is about seven seconds up the road. That is P2. Unfortunately, because of all the squabbling on the first lap, you just lose a lot of time doing that. That's why qualifying English is so important here at the Nürburgring. But with the guys back on the pit wall cheering me on, I just got my head down and just took it corner by corner. The car felt absolutely fantastic. I know, of course, I'm going to always say good things about it, but this Evo R suspension was giving me confidence beyond anything I've ever felt before in any car, let alone this 330i here at the Nürburgring. I just felt myself being able to do things that I couldn't do before. I could carry more entry speed everywhere, carry it through the apex and on to exit. And that little speck in the distance that was the 504 car was now coming into focus. I was catching him corner by corner. And by the end of lap three, I was there. I was right on the back of the 504. But we've done the easy part now, or somewhat anyway. We've caught up to the back of it. Now we've got to do the hard part. Now we've got to find a way past. But despite that previous lap being a 9.21, the PB for the car and a few seconds quicker than the car we're chasing, the 504, I just couldn't find a way by that car in front very, very quick through the first part of a lap. And similar story to the adrenaline car on the lap one. It's just about trying to find the space and find the time to do it. So we've got a little bit of traffic in front of us. I've got that in my mind thinking, OK, right, maybe he's going to get held up at some point. Maybe I can use that. But until then, I've got to stay as close as possible. Diving down now into as now important to get as close to the curb as possible for maximum camber. And now on the uphill, very tricky right hand. The 504, a little bit slow on exit. I spy my chance, gun it. To the outside we go. Now it's a drag race down to the next corner. We're side by side for P2, but our little Bill Stein 330i has got the legs and through we go up into P2 in the race. I can scarcely believe it. And now once again, we've got to get our heads down and see if we can take any time out of the leader. But unbeknownst to me, as I crossed the start finish line, I got a message from the guys back in the pit lane saying the leader was serving a drive-through penalty and that we were now first in class in VT2. We were leading a race at the Nürburgring in only our fourth ever start. At the time, I just put that information to the back of my head and just tried to get on with the job at hand, but I can't lie and say I didn't have a little bit of a smile underneath the helmet. And in the lead, I would stay until it came to the end of my stint. We had led laps at the Nürburgring. When we started this project, something like that seemed completely out of reach, but, but it fills me with genuine pride for myself, Bill Stein and the team to know that we're not just there to make up the numbers. We're there to compete and we are fast. Good job. Thank you. Good job. Oh, fucking hell, mate. That was fun. Yeah, um, well, he said I was P2, and he said I was P1. But oh, what happened? But, yeah, we, we've led the race on merit at the north side there. That evil R suspension, mate. It's like oh, there's easy like a it's like a 918 and then for me out there. Really? Yeah, just traffic. You look really like smooth out there, really fast. You smashed it, mate. Just it was so good watching. Chat was going crazy. Like when you when you when you went past Adrenaline, number one on lap one. Okay, right, he can, and then he was just like on the next car, on the next car. Yeah, awesome. I mean, we started in V5, and just the car was just quick enough to, to, to make, the, uh, make the moves and make the time up. So, um, I think the adjustment we made to the um, our beautiful Evo R suspension that was the one because it was so much nicer. Like, I think before, you know, we're just sort of trying to find what suits us, we've now found what suits us, and uh, we have the pace to. To be in the front now. It's a shame it's the last race of the season. It'd be a shame if we came back next year, wouldn't it?
However, though, unfortunately enough, we wouldn't stay in P1. And despite the best efforts of Misha and a heroic double stint from Steve, we'd end up slipping down to P4 just off the podium for our final race in NLS for the season. <sighs> it's tiring. It's not just sitting down in a seat. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard work. I think this is good. Try to sim race. Sim race is even more. Try, try <laughs> fours with a game pad. It's even worse. Yeah. Good season though, guys. And thank you for the support. Honestly. It's been amazing. On to next year. Have a few months to get more fit. Uh, that is our first season of NLS done. So, well, first half season. And uh, I was saying to uh, Jamie earlier and you guys earlier, like coming fourth feels like disappointing now, which is, shows how much progress we've made um, in like the, the very short time we've been driving this car. Um, but you know, for, for Black Falcon, for us and for Bill Stein, this is a new thing driving this 330i here. We've just managed to develop it as time's gone on. And we're at a point now where, you know, we're trading lap times for the fastest guys here. Yeah, massive shout out, of course, to uh, to Bill Stein for putting this whole project together. None of us would be here um, without them and without this initial idea between Misha and uh, Chris and Bill Stein at a bar somewhere, which is how, where all great ideas happen. But guys, thank you all so much for your support. Um, this has been an amazing little adventure. It's still ongoing and to get to race here and drive here, it's um, you know, that's a big bucket list thing gone for me, proper, proper dream stuff. So to actually be here and do it is, uh, is, is proper next level and to do it alongside people I consider my friends is uh, even better. So again, thank you for your support. Take care. Have an awesome day. See you next year, maybe.